Cynthia Shepard. In this video, I'll be doing a quick step-by-step -step character painting in oil. I've been asked to paint Arya Stark and her pet direwolf Nymeria from George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series. After familiarizing myself with the characters, I'll write down a list of visual details about them in my sketchbook. Now that I'm familiar with the characters' appearances and personalities, I'll start sketching them from my imagination. I'll do as many thumbnails as it takes to find a good composition. Next, I'll do a value study. I like to do this step digitally because it allows me to try a lot of different value structures very quickly. Getting the lights and darks in place now will help me know where to put them through the whole painting process. Next, I'll colorize my value study to see how I want to use color throughout the painting. For the drawing, I'm using a toned paper. Strathmore Artigan 400 in gray. I'll use a 2B pencil to lightly sketch out the largest shapes first, then finish the drawing with a 4B pencil and white charcoal. As usual, I'm painting on Strathmore 500 series illustration board, a thick stock with a smooth finish that takes paint well. To transfer my drawing to the illustration board, I printed out a copy of the drawing at the correct size, and placed a piece of tracing paper coated in charcoal underneath it. This is a cheap way to make your own carbon paper. Next, I'll seal the pencil with a coat of spray fixative and up to four coats of acrylic matte medium. I'm using acrylics for this step to speed up drying time. I'll start with the most general areas of color and move to the specific. My main motive here is to tone the illustration board while also beginning to define the values and colors. In my color rough, I have a distinct cool to warm shift, so I'll use ultramarine blue in the background and burnt sienna in the foreground, both mixed with burnt umber for tone. I've chosen colors that I can mix for light skin tones and warm and cool grays for the dire wolf. Payne's Gray, Prussian Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Burnt Umber, Alizarin Crimson, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, and Titanium White. I also like to use my palette knife and pre-mix some colors before I begin painting.
first I'll lay down a thin glaze of medium made from linseed oil, turpentine substitute, and a small amount of pigment starting from the background and working forward. The medium glaze will allow the next layers of more opaque paint to flow smoothly over the surface. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching the process of this painting.